I'm Bishop William Medley of the Diocese of Owensboro, and today I've invited a couple of friends of mine to help me tell you something about what Easter means, what the first Easter meant, and what Easter means for us today. First of all, uh, introduce yourself to everybody. My name is Trace Malay. I'm in third grade at Owensboro Catholic K-3 campus. My name is Layla Martin. I'm in the third grade, and I'm from Owensboro Catholic K-3 campus. Okay, very good. Glad you could join me today. Uh, Easter is the very end of Lent, and so I'm interested in knowing uh, what did you do special for Lent this year? I gave up playing Madden. Now tell me what Madden is, because I'm not sure everybody will know what that is. Madden is a football game. Okay, very good. Has it been hard to, to give that up for a while? Okay. What about you? I gave up all drinks except for water. All drinks except for water. So no pop, no orange juice, no chocolate milk, no coffee. <laughs> I bet you don't drink much coffee though. Okay. But that's, that's a sacrifice, isn't it? Okay, so that's the end of Lent. Uh, what do we celebrate at Easter? What do, we, what, what do the Gospels tell us about that first Easter? Jesus rises from the dead. Wow. How did Jesus die? Um, first of all, He died for us, and He died on the cross. Died on the cross, yeah. So after He died, where did they put His body? They put it in the tomb. In the tomb, right. And then on that first Easter Sunday, some people went to pay homage, to pay respect to Jesus. What did they find? They saw an angel and Jesus, and the stone was rolled out and Jesus was gone. Right, they, don't, they didn't bury people like we did. They often buried people in something like a cave. So it's not like they were in the ground. But, and there was a stone that would have covered the opening of the cave, and that stone had been rolled away. And what was left in the, in the tomb? An angel. An angel. But what about the body of Jesus? It was gone. It was gone. Okay. That's something else, isn't it? So that means that Jesus was no longer dead? Yes. Right? Okay. So Jesus rose from the dead. Where is he today? In heaven. In heaven and? In our hearts. Everywhere. Yeah. In our hearts. We encounter Jesus in a lot of ways. So what do we do now on Easter Sunday to remember the resurrection of Jesus? We go to Mass. We go to Mass? We have Easter egg hunts. Easter egg hunts. Why would you have an Easter egg hunt? Because eggs symbolize new life. Eggs symbolize new life, like the new life of Jesus coming back from the dead. Okay, so will you get an Easter basket? Probably. Probably. What do you think might be in it? Uh, candy and maybe some coins. Candy and coins? What'll be in yours? Um, probably some, uh, a bunch of candy. A bunch of candy. Now, this is an important question. Will you share what's in your Easter basket with the bishop? Yes. Oh! I need to write your address down so I can find you on Easter Sunday morning. <laughs> okay. Uh, well, very good. This is the most important feast day of all Christianity. It's even more important than Christmas. Now Christmas is important, but the day that Jesus came back from the dead is important for all time. And that means that we have a friend. We can encounter Jesus and we can still know Jesus 2,000 years after He lived and died on the cross and then rose again from the dead. Thank you all for helping me tell the story of Easter. You're welcome. God bless you.